Welcome to our lecture online and here's an example where you're supposed to find the magnetic field inside what we call a coil. Now a coil is a device that's used in many many electronic uh, devices such as computers and uh, video, uh, video equipment and televisions, you name it. Anything that has any kind of electronics in it typically has coils in it. Even cars have coils in them. So how do you find the magnetic field caused by a coil? Now typically when you think about it um, you find the direction of the current in the coil around the tube here. So since the current is going to go this way, behind the tube, out the front, and this way, curl your fingers in the direction of the current around the coil, and the thumb will be in the direction of the magnetic field through the coil like that. So we can see here that we're going to have a magnetic field in this direction. Again, notice that the current goes behind up over and in front like this so curl your fingers in the direction of the current your thumb will be pointing in the direction of the magnetic field inside that coil now to find the magnitude of the coil that can be found by taking mu sub naught multiplying it times n and times i i being the current mu sub naught of course you already know that and n is representative of the number of loops or the number of turns as we call it per unit length so n is equal to the total number of loops or coils divided by the total length of this, of this coil L. So we can then say that this is equal to mu sub naught times big N over L, big N being the number of turns or number of loops, L being the length of the coil times the current I. So now go ahead and plug in the numbers. Mu sub naught is equal to uh, 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 teslas times meters divided by amps multiply it times the total number of loops which is 400 divided by the length of this which is 40 centimeters or 0.4 meters and we multiply it times i which is 20 amps notice that the amps cancel out the meters cancel out so we're left with teslas and now let's grab a calculator so we go 4 e to the 7 minus times pi times 400 divided by 0.4 and then multiply it times 20 and we got 0 0.0.025 teslas and so that would be the magnitude of the B field and of course if you now want to write in a vector quantity since you know that it's to the right so that's the positive x direction in this case you could say that the magnetic field B inside the coil is equal to a positive 0.025 teslas in the x direction now what's the magnetic field outside the coil well outside the coil the magnetic field will loop back and make a complete circle so the magnetic field will come back this way go back in here and like that so you have additional magnetic field coming out this way and back in and this way and back in you can see that the magnetic field strength outside the coil is very weak, but the magnetic field inside the coil is very strong. All right, and that's how you find the magnetic field inside a coil.